Thank you very much, uh, members of the press and uh, our listeners and our viewers. Uh, first of all, I want to address myself to what is agonizing um, our parents and uh, you know parents of our children that are uh, going to school after the schools have been opened. Uh, last year, uh, when we had the privilege to raise the issue of uh, free education as pronounced in the campaigns by the UPND president and the UPND members, that they are going to form government and implement a policy of free education for all, from, you know, early child education to university and uh, there was you know a reaction from the citizen that maybe we need to give them time until they begin to implement their own budget this time around the president the minister of education mr douglas Karoma continue to assure the people of Zambia that come first term of 2022 free education will be implemented but now what we have witnessed and also zooming through our binocracy you can tell that uh, their bluff and lies are being exposed most parents diverted their you know budgeted money for school fees to other needy areas, especially with the disastrous agriculture, um, you know, season that has been mismanaged in terms of input and other requirements. Today, our parents are being shocked that they are going to schools and they are finding that they need to pay a number of uh, fees including mandatory buying of uniforms from the respective schools because now schools have to try and find avenues or ways through which they can try and raise funds for their operation. Government does not release adequate funds. They are now trying to direct people and parents, teachers towards the CDF fund as a means through which the so-called free education will be implemented. Misaka and HLM, instead of going to launch a book written by some white fellow who was able to write that book on the basis that he acquired education, you should have been here to make sure that this policy that you pronounce is properly implemented and it should not be crowded with too many stories and excuses and you know challenges that so far has been faced our teachers school administrators are now stressed not knowing what to do as a result of the hot potato that has been thrown on their laps in the name of free education both secondary primary and indeed we're going to see university, uh, universities in this class, country grappling on how best this can be implemented. I can only but summarize and, you know, um, and um, uh, sum up my description of what is happening as a disaster, a scandal called the free education policy of the UPND. And Ms. Akainde, Mr. Douglas Yakarim and all those responsible must be ashamed to even be walking the streets of Zambia saying that they are implementing a free education policy. Number two, now it is embarrassing to see a head of state because of possibly um, inferiority complex towards a white man and the, a clear confirm, confirmation that we have a person in state house who is an agent of uh, West 
Western or the West in terms of uh, neo capitalist and neo colonialism. These are people that have been orchestrating on the continent of Africa a regime change agenda, tilted towards benefiting themselves that because as an empire they have been losing grip in controlling the mining rights on the continent and the mining rights here in Zambia. Just when the continent is beginning to gain its place on the global scene in terms of the economic uh, setup, we are having a situation where puppets of these mining empires and you know business empires are beginning to be being assembled. And our president is not even ashamed to break all manner of diplomatic etiquette. He is assembling and mingling with opposition leaders. How does that speak to our relationship with Zimbabwe? How does that speak to our relationship with Uganda? Because in the diplomatic circles, it's unheard of to have a head of state mingling with opposition. It means that actually is indicating that it could be interfering with the democratic you know, processes of those respective countries which are sovereign states. I think there is need for Misaka in there to sit down and learn. We have people like Neversum and others who are trying to associate with him and their former diplomats. Let them uh, advise this fellow. He's embarrassing us. How can a head of state go to launch a book in South Africa and even call it a working visit to go and parade himself before some white fellows who are just, you know, uh, interested in continuing to cannibalize the resources on the continent of Africa. Thank you very much.